it's Melissa. In this video, I am so excited to give you your first look at the next generation Epson DTF and DTG printers. So as you know, I have the Epson F2100, which I adore. It is my favorite DTF printer for ease of use. Uh, the fact that it is a hybrid machine being able to do DTF and DTG doesn't hurt that you can also use it on a Mac. The maintenance is super easy. This thing never fails me, right? But now there is a new generation called the Epson 2270, and I have been fortunate enough to be able to see it firsthand in action. So I'm going to show you that. We'll go over some of the new features. Um, I will tell you this one is being discontinued. However, it is similar, works very similarly, does have some upgrades uh, in the new version. So the tutorials and everything, the videos that I have on this one, everything it can do, You'll be able to do that and more on the 2270. There's been some redesigns ergonomically, like where buttons are placed. There's been some added functions and features like auto sensors. Cleaning has been, um, even though the cleaning is so easy on this anyway, it's very intuitive. A lot of that has been even upgraded even more. So let's take a look. I'm excited for you to see this. All right, so here we go. So I'm going to let this print in regular real-time speed so that you can see the speed of this. Now, what I will say, obviously this is putting down the layer of white. This is in the direct to garment mode. It is printing to a black cotton t-shirt that has already has some pre-treat on there. So the white layer is obviously printing first and then it will go back and do uh, the CMYK on top of that. Now, a couple of things here. This is 25% faster than the 2100. Okay, so the 2270 is going to print faster um, than the prior model. And that is because the print head is physically taller than um, the original 2100 version. So that means it can cover more space with each pass. It has 400 nozzles versus the 2100's 360 nozzles. So just physically bigger print head allows for uh, faster printing. The 2270 that you're seeing here also uses what's called a precision core micro TF print head. That has um, nozzle verification technology in that. Now, what the heck does that mean? What it means is it can automatically detect when there is a nozzle clog. And not only does it detect it, but it can automatically perform head maintenance to clear that clog and fix those missing nozzles. So if a nozzle is missing, it knows to fire the one next to it. So it's automatically doing that with um, this nozzle verification technology. Also, when you go to do a nozzle check, which I would suggest that you do every day, especially if you're not printing every day, if a nozzle is missing, you can then do cleaning that is targeted to that nozzle. So this is something that's new in the 2270, and it's going to help you reduce downtime, making maintenance as fast as possible. Um, so the other thing, there's, again, more changes here with the 2270. This printer comes with six cartridges of ink, which is not different than the 2100. However, they are all 800 milliliters. This 2100 came with 250 milliliter cartridges. So you're getting more than three times the ink out of the box. Of course, you are paying more. Um, this The 2270 is a pretty big price jump, jump from where the 2100 landed, um, but you have um, more ink again, and obviously more features as well. The touchscreen, it's a four, uh, almost four and a half inch control panel right on the front of the machine. You can do everything right there. This one, uh, the 2270 has automatic target, automatic garment thickness optimization, another automation um, that has been built in. It helps adjust the print head's height and optimize print quality without you having to manually do that. The machine has been redesigned. Again, I showed you those buttons earlier, but it also has a smaller footprint, making it easier to push into like a corner. It has minor touches that have been added like soft touch close for the lid, the inclusion of that hanger on the garment platen that you can see right there. Um, and then also not just the machine itself, but Garment Creator. Garment Creator 2 is now out. It's been, um, it has been updated. It now includes a DTF mode 
when you're printing direct to film instead of direct to garment. So just a ton of changes as you can see. So if you are interested in getting that 2270, which you can do, of course, the uh, DTF and DTG, all of the links I have uh, for the best bundles, where to purchase are all below. So just keep in mind the 2100 is pretty much going to be discontinued. I shouldn't say pretty much. It is discontinued. So the 2270 is your best option. If you are looking for a hybrid DTF and DTG printer, this is the one that is going to do everything for your shop. I'm telling you, people ask me all the time, what is the one printer that you would get if you're a t-shirt shop? This is it. It can do so much. The, it's so versatile. Obviously, can do much more than just t-shirts. You can do all types of garments. You can do shoes. You can do hats. You can do sleeves, pant legs, sweatshirts, all types of things. And then, of course, you can also do the DTF as well on the 16 by 20 uh, platen. So a ton of stuff that you can do with this printer. Um, and all of those new features that have been added to the 2270 have really come down to user feedback to Epson. And they have really poured a lot of those upgrades and updates into the 2270 to make it even better, a better user experience, faster processing, um, you know, all those things that I showed you into the new version. So as much as I love the 2100, the 2270 is just as awesome actually even better. All right, you guys, check out all of the links below if you're interested. If you have questions, feel free to leave comments here. I'll be happy to help you. I do recommend, obviously, Swing Design. Worked with them, purchased from them for years, um, and they have tons of bundles that you can get everything you need to get started, so that is where I recommend. And again, all of the links below. All right, you guys, don't forget to hit subscribe. If you run a custom shop, if you are a crafter, this is not for you, but if you run a uh, custom shop, a t-shirt shop, DTF, all those types of things. Make sure you subscribe because I have tons of videos to help you grow your business. All right, guys, see you soon.